So I have something of an audio riddle, right? You take 10 recordings, and I just picked these. I mean, I, I like all of them, so I'm going to mention them. So Kraftwerk's uh, Autobahn record, the new Billie Eilish single, the one that she did on Saturday Night Live, uh, the Weavers at Carnegie Hall, the Miles Davis Kind of Blue, um, Gudrun Guts uh, put a record on, the latest uh, remixes of Woodstock 50 years ago, uh, Abbey Road's 50th anniversary remix, uh, Glenn Gould uh, playing the Goldberg Variations, um, the new Wilco album, which I just listened to this morning, really, really good. And uh, last but not least, There Will Be Blood, the score that Johnny Greenwood put together for the movie. So all of these records are, are good records, good musical records, but they were all recorded under, ex you know, wildly different conditions, you know. Some are live, some are from this century, some are from this decade, some are from 50 years ago, or further back even. Um, in studios live, all kinds of mixes, different engineers, different situations. Ideally, some would say your hi-fi system should make them all sound, you know, crazy, just hugely different, right? Because they're all different, have to be. But is that the goal? Is that the goal for an audio file to have a system that makes, that reveals all those differences that are in those recordings? Is that the goal? Not for me. Now, for my own personal listening pleasure, I want a system that makes everything sound good or as good as it can be, right? I don't want to hear necessarily the truth that's in the recording, whether it's an analog recording or a digital recording. I want it to sound some version of good, of pleasure, of pleasurable, that gets my juices flowing and makes me say, yeah, oh, how much I love this music. Now, if I'm listening to a not so great recording, actually like that Glenn Gould from 1960, uh, uh, and I want to be irritated by the recording. Say, oh my, I hear the distortions, I hear overloads, that's weird. No, that's not good. I don't want a system that draws out all the flaws in the recordings. I want a system that just glides over those flaws, makes everything hunky-dory, and I just keep listening, and I just keep smiling, and everything is good. That's what I want. But of course, you guys, some of you at least, want a system that tells the truth, that truth is the most important thing about, that, that a hi-fi system can, can deliver, the truth that's in the recording. The good, the bad, the ugly. So, audio files are, as in, in many ways, in two groups, the, the truth seekers and the pleasure seekers. And I want to know which side are you on? That is the question for today. You're either with us or against us. No, just which side are you on? The sun, by the way, is going in and out, so my colors are changing. I'm wearing an extra colorful shirt to see if your monitor can reveal the, the hues on my uh, wardrobe today. Anyway, my name is Steve Guttenberg. This is very, very much the Audiophiliac Daily Show coming to you from Brooklyn, as you might have already assumed, right? And if you like it, please subscribe. And the other thing I don't say often enough is if you like these videos, please share them on Twitter or wherever you share. Share them there. Um, subscribe, like, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever suits your fancy. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. And uh, last but certainly not least, you can check out the Patreon at p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash audiophiliac. See you again real soon.